They are a mysterious species of pod-sized humans who are thought to have lived isolated on a tropical island in Indonesia for thousands of years. The hobbits of Flores, also known as Homo floresiensis, were believed to have even outlived the Neanderthals on their island paradise, surviving until just 12,000 years ago. But new excavations at the cave where their fossilized remains were discovered are now suggesting the diminutive humans died out far earlier than previously thought. The study indicates the Flores hobbits disappeared around 50,000 years ago, meaning they probably did not live alongside modern humans as has been suggested in the past. Indeed, the findings raise tantalizing questions as to the final fate of this primitive human species and whether the arrival of modern humans on their island spelled their doom. Professor Maxim Albert, an archaeologist at Griffith University in Queensland, Australia, said, Homo floresiensis seems to have disappeared soon after our species reached Flores, suggesting it was us who drove them to extinction. The science is unequivocal. The youngest hobbit skeletal remains occurred 60,000 years ago but evidence for their simple stone tools continues until 50,000 years ago. After this there are no more traces of these humans. The new excavations help to settle one of the many ongoing controversies surrounding the Flores hobbits. When they were first discovered, many anthropologists believed them to be Homo sapiens who were suffering from some kind of dwarfism or a genetic condition such as Down's syndrome or endemic cretinism. However, recent studies have convinced many experts the hobbits were indeed a separate species. It is thought the tiny humans may have evolved from an older branch of the human family tree, perhaps Homo erectus, after being isolated on the island for up to a million years. Initial analysis of the site where they were found suggested they lived in the Leon Bua cave on Flores from around 94,000 years ago to 12,000 years ago. As modern humans are thought to have reached Australia from Asia around 50,000 years ago, this suggests the hobbits may have coexisted alongside Homo sapiens. But fresh excavations at the Liang Bua cave, in areas not exposed in the original excavations, have shown that the layers of sediment are now deposited evenly. In research published in the journal Nature, Professor Aubert and her colleagues say the skeletal remains of Homo floresiensis were found in deposits around 100,000 to 60,000 years old. Stone tools attributed to the hobbits were found in sediment deposits that range from 190,000 to 50,000 years old. Dr. Adam Brum, another archaeologist at Griffith University who took part in the study, said it now seems likely the hobbits may have suffered the same fate that befell the Neanderthals around 40,000 years ago. When our species, Homo sapiens, moved into their territory as they spread out of Africa, they simply outcompeted these other human species and replaced them within just a few thousand years. Dr. Brum said, they might have retreated to more remote parts of Flores, but it's a small place and they couldn't have avoided our species for long. I think their days were numbered the moment we set foot on the island. 